In this video, we are working on an iPhone 6S that doesn't power on. Uh, the customer said the phone screen went purple, pink, it started to flicker, and then it just went off. So no backlight, no image. She tried to reset the phone and nothing. The phone is totally dead. The battery is drawing 0 0.4 amps. So it's charging, voltage is reaching, and that's perfect. That's very good. Okay, so what I want to do is test for a short on the 5.7 volt line. Uh, this part of the capacitor is ground, and this part is the 5.7 volt line. So let me test the capacitor for short. Meter in diode mode, red probe on ground, and black probe here. It's short. This is ground, and this is 5.7, so this is short. That's good news, because I know that this line only contains a couple of components. This is the 5.7 volt line that I'm interested in. As you can see, the display chestnut IC is on the bottom, which is the back of the board. The red labeled dot, this is the 5.7 volt line. It connects to the capacitor that's to the left of it. That capacitor connects to three other capacitors on the front of the board, which is the top board that you see on the screen. So any one of those components could be causing the short. Most likely it's a capacitor issue. All the capacitors that you see on the board here has one end that's connected to ground. So if we have a faulty capacitor, it's going to short the whole line to ground. If none of the capacitors are causing the short, then our problem is the display IC. We are interested in this capacitor, which could be causing the fault, this capacitor, which could be causing the fault, and, oh, wait a minute, this one doesn't look good. We are interested in this capacitor. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the problem right there. That is our problem. You know what? Let me test and see if we still have a short. So this is ground. Whoa, our short is gone. Our short is gone and the phone should turn on without this capacitor. And if that's the problem, we just fix this phone in a few minutes. So I connected the display, I connected the home button and camera. Let me use a good battery. Turn the phone. Whoa, look at this. It turns on. It turns on. See how sometimes by looking at a component, you can tell if that component is bad or not. Look at this. This phone came in for data recovery, but now the customer can, can have both her data and phone back. Job is done. I'm going to replace the capacitor. It's not needed. It's not going to prevent the phone from turning on. It's only there to filter out noise. Back to the microscope. So we're going to remove this one.
out. That's it for this video.